why do politicians not like AC? Well, I'm going to give you that answer at the end of this video. You have to watch the whole thing in order for you to understand and comprehend the multitude of reasonings why they don't like AC. But to start off, my name is Alvin Codner, and round the way, they call me AC, and round the way meaning in my city, which is Kissimmee, and that city of Kissimmee resides in a county called Osceola. Now, let me just give you some stats real quick, some numbers to get us started off. So it's political campaign season at its peak, August 2020. A lot of things are happening all over the world, but here in Osceola County, things seem a little, a little off to me. So I personally want to be an educated voter, so I decided to do my research on a few of these candidates. Now, after my research of Osceola County politics, according to VoteOsceola.com, there's 103 local candidates. This is not including the state and federal candidates, but out of that 103 candidates, 52 of them raised $1,218,247.14. But out of that, they spent $831,194.33. Now, out of that money spent, they spent $576,127.33. Cents on signs, advertisement, and shirts. Now, let me tell y'all something. There's so much signs out there. When you're driving on the road, when you go to the polls, all these signs, they're going to go to waste. They're either going to throw them in the trash. They're going to... But do you know how much you can do with 500 plus thousand dollars for the community, for the city that you want to serve? This is 52 people who started raising money in January of 2019 up to now, July 31st, or when I did my calculations, July 31st, 2020. You raised 1.2 million plus some odd dollars. You spent 800 plus dollars, and out of that 800,000 plus dollars, you spent 500,000 plus on shirts, signs, and advertisement? Now look, I know there's gonna be somebody in the comments but how are we supposed to get known? Like we have to, that's what, that's what it's all about. It's campaigning, we have to get out there. We gotta- Listen, listen. I didn't put up one sign all year. How do you know me? Think about it. Now there's gonna be somebody in the comments and they're gonna be like, well, it's their money. They can spend it how they want to spend it. Well, in reality, it's not really their money because they collected the money as a contribution from someone in the city of Kissimmee or in Osceola County and then they're spending it on signs. So put it like this. I come up to you as a citizen in your city and I say, hey, will you donate to my campaign, please? Because this is going to help me get to a seat or elected official. And then you give me your money and then I spend it on a sign to tell you what I just told you in person. Um, but I put it on a sign now. I, I put in my face, I put in my name, and I might put my website and I might put the voting date. Um, that's cool with you. You're gonna give me big bucks for that to what to put on a sign. Your hard earned money. Things you work for. Some of y'all fifteen dollars an hour, twenty dollars an hour, twenty-eight dollars an hour, thirty you're gonna give me that money, nine dollars an hour. You're gonna give me that money that you work hard for for me to put my face on a sign so I could tell you what I just told you in person. No, we're not doing that. And I'm gonna tell you why. Now there's gonna be somebody else in the comments, they're gonna be like, Oh, but they're helping out the economy, they're helping out the businesses when they're spending that money on ads, they're helping out the advertisement business. Well, that would make sense if they were helping out the local economy, but they're not. The thing about it is, out of that $576,127, they spent $225,934.19 outside of the state of Florida in cities like Washington, D.C., Waltham, Massachusetts, Austin, Texas, San Antonio, Texas, Cumberland, Maine, Grayson, Georgia, Still River, Massachusetts, Fletcher, North Carolina, El Segundo, California, Seattle, Washington, Dallas, Texas, Laconia, New Hampshire, Atlanta, Georgia, Matawan, New Jersey, Houston, Texas, Coldwater, Ohio. Do, do y'all have the coldest water? of them all. New York, New York, Brazelton, Georgia, Cortland, Ohio, Fairfax, Virginia, Lexington, Kentucky, Framingham, Massachusetts, Erlanger, Kentucky, Reno, Nevada, Lawrenceville, Georgia, Little Canada, Minnesota, 
Salt Lake City, Utah, Raleigh, North Carolina, Bend, Oregon, and Aurora, Illinois. But that being stated, you took from Kissimmee people, Osceola County residents, you took their money and then you spent it in an economy that's not theirs. Why not spend it in shirt shops and sign shops that's here in the city of Kissimmee or the city of St. Cloud or Osceola County? Build the economy up that way. Y'all spent so much money outside of the county that you're trying to serve questionable are we thinking are we really thinking but in total they spent money in 51 cities out of those 51 cities only 17 of them were in the state of florida mind you those 17 cities that's in the state of florida all are not in the osceola county so with that being said you're still taking money from Kissimmee, giving it to another local economy that's not yours what are we doing and i'm talking about cities such as mount verde papano longwood Largo, Holly Hill, Ocoee, Maitland, Miami, Winter Springs, Winter Park, Winter Garden, Ocala, Coral Gables, Tallahassee, Deltona, Claremont. Now just think about all these cities that these candidates took your money and they gave it to another economy. All we should be doing as candidates is taking the people's money in some form or fashion and giving it right back to them in another form or fashion. If someone gives me a hundred dollars, I'm taking that hundred dollars and feeding however much families I can through a nonprofit organization that does that. Um, that makes more sense to me because it's the people who's trying to get us elected or supporting us to get elected for us to do our daily community duties and civic duties out there to give back. So why would you take the money this whole year and a half, keep taking money from the people and then spending it somewhere else to cities that don't care nothing about us? I never, I don't, it didn't make sense. And this is my first year in political arena. My first time running for office. Why did I notice this first? Y'all been doing this years upon years upon years upon years. But just to recap, 225,000 some odd dollars went to 34 cities outside of the state of Florida and 350,193 dollars and 58 cents went to businesses within the state of Florida. And I know somebody's going to be in the comments saying, but what's wrong with the 350,000 staying in the state of Florida? Nothing's wrong with that, but what the wrong thing about it is, uh, we should have 500 some odd thousand in the state of Florida, which we don't. Also, out of that 350 plus thousand, that all should be within the city of Kissimmee, city of St. Cloud, and Osceola County, not other counties around the state of Florida. Do you know how much Osceola County could have done with 500 plus thousand dollars? Given, given from the everyday working people, from the candidates themselves, from corporations, just given to these 52 human beings, if they would have all just said, hey, let's do for the betterment of the community, because that's the reason why we're running in the first place. So they say. All right, so let's recap real quick. Total number of local candidates, 103. Total candidates that raised money, 52. Start and end date of which money was raised, January 1st, 2019 to July 31st of 2020. Money raised within that time frame, $1,218,247.14. Money spent, $831,194.33. Leaving a remainder of $387,052.81. And money spent on things outside of advertisement and signs is $255,066.56. And money spent on advertisement signs and shirts, $576,100. $27.77. Now money spent from that $500 plus thousand dollars on ads, $350,193.58 was spent in 10 cities in the state of Florida and $225,934.19 was spent on cities outside the state of Florida. Cool. So now I also did a research on the last two weeks and I separated it for a reason. Now before August 18th, which is our primary election date, we have two weeks between August 1st to August 13th to submit our campaign report about how much money we collected and spent between those two weeks. Now out of the Osceola County candidates, 36 out of 103 candidates raised $81,217.83. They spent in total, or 43 candidates spent in total, $126,758 dollars and 61 cents now out of those 43 candidates 42 of those candidates spent one hundred and nine thousand five hundred and thirty two dollars and twelve cents on ads signs and shirts
I cannot stress this enough how illogical that is for the community. That does not help the community at all. You waste so much money on signs. You could have spent $109 in so much better ways to help the community. Yet, you just want to get known for a year and a half and half of y'all not even gonna win. Do something good, man. Do something good with the money. Stop taking the people's money and spending it on signs and ads. You have a year and a half to collect money and y'all y'all did it. Y'all raised 1.2 plus million dollars. Spend that on something good for the people that you're trying to serve. It only makes sense that way because the traditional way that you've been doing it for years is all wrong. And so in totality, that's the main reason why politicians really don't like who I am because because everything that they're doing they're spending all this money your money at that but they're spending all this money and they have to do above and beyond to get this exposure that they want they want this exposure so people can see their name people can see what they're doing but they do all that and all this money all this effort but when I do it it's all free for me I don't do no fundraising I don't do or take any contributions the reason why anyone ever asks is, hey I want to donate to your campaign no how about you donate to a nonprofit that I volunteer for how about you do that because about to because those nonprofits need it now they don't need it at the end of the year they don't need it at the end of the election they need that money now to feed the elderly they need that money now to feed the homeless so don't donate to me just give it to a nonprofit that's actually doing a day-to-day -day labor with those who are in the working class and those who are in the struggling class and the lower economy so with that being stated the politicians don't like that about me they don't like how true and real i am they don't like how i maneuver through the community with ease and i don't have to spend a dime i don't have to spend a dollar i promise you i don't man i don't do no fundraiser i haven't done one all year you know that if you look at my campaign reports i don't believe i passed two thousand dollars <laughs> and majority of that was from the kick on um, campaign kickoff where i paid for half of that out of my own pocket i paid for my students to come we had a great time and it was all about getting the youth to see me as a not only as an educator but as a, a future mayor a future politician in some point in time in my life whatever i become whether i win or lose i'm going to be something great i am going to be a leader but i wanted the youth to see me um, in, a, in a different aspect than just a teacher at the time. So I paid for all of them and majority of the people that came in there is all out of my pocket for sure. But I say that to state after that campaign kickoff, I didn't do any fundraisers at all. There is no signs of me. You see no name or signs of me out in the city of Kissimmee or around Osceola County. You don't see that. The reason being, as I said, it seems illogical to me to take somebody's money and then put my face and name on a sign for them to see to then get thrown away or on a mailer that gets the mail and then they get it receive it and they throw it in the trash what a waste of money to me so my signs I use some old old paint canvases because I am an art teacher I use some old canvases and what I did with those canvases I painted positive quotes quotes that inspired me as I was growing up um, quotes like you need to be the change um, that you want to that you wish to see in the world because I think that is true I think that you all can change the world if we all just come together and think in a logical and a strategic manner I think that being positive and being grateful um, it'll all be better in a while I think it'll all end to that route in some case some form or some fashion I think that we should think on a global scale and that we also should act locally think on a global aspect of things that we can learn from other cities, other countries, and then bring it back to our hometown to have a better understanding of how the world works and what we can take from those cities and those countries and how it can work in our own community. I think it only makes sense, but in all reality, I think we also need to love each other. There's so much hate going on. I pray that you all choose love over hate, but that's just my science. That's just what I do. That's just how I elaborate myself. All of that was free. Those canvases were old, they were shabby. I reused them, donated them to myself, and that was my in-kind donation to myself. Um, painted on them, used some old paint that I had. Probably cost me about $100 in total. All of my money and my contributions at that, by the way. All it took me was time, effort, and energy. Something that you all, as candidates and as people, as regular citizens, citizens should, should have really should have but but outside of all that I just want to tell you this 
right here, right now, not one second later. One thing's for sure, two things is for certain, three things will solidify. You can change the world, no doubt about it. You just have to believe in yourself like I believe in myself to be here on this day. Everything that I have accomplished, I must say, nine times out of ten, it didn't involve money. All it did was involve time, effort, and energy. Look, I love you all, but I wanted y'all to be make sure that you are an educated voter before you go out there and place a check next to someone's name. Make sure you educate yourself and do your research on whoever you choose to vote for. I'm not saying vote for me. What I'm saying is vote in an educated manner for someone who identifies with you. Do that first. Uh, and, and, and it doesn't have to be in my little city called Kissimmee. Wherever you're at, watching this video. Do your due diligence, do your research, and go out and exercise your right. And if you don't like any of the candidates on the ballot in 2022, go ahead on and put in a suit or put in whatever you like and feel comfortable in. Put your name on the ballot and vote for yourself. I love you all. Blessings. Be grateful.